Hello everybody and welcome to Flock Talk. Since the last video we did was all about the sorts of toys and products that you should avoid buying birds, Michael here suggested that we should do a video on the sorts of things that birds really enjoy or perhaps some of my favorite products that I buy for birds. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Alright, so the first item I'm going to go over here is one that I absolutely love and is brilliant for tiny tiny birds. It's one of the few toys that I found in a store that actually encourages enrichment in, in a sort of foraging manner that's really healthy. So what I have here is called the KT uh, Peek and Pull Forager. So this toy is pretty basic, it's a bunch of drawers, and it's one of the few toys for small birds that actually really encourages a smart form of foraging. I find that all the sorts of ones that tend to involve pulling out drawers or turning pieces to forage tend to be way too big for birds, they tend to be too heavy for them to actually manipulate. But this one, the drawers are super easy to pull out, and it's something that my birds absolutely enjoy. They haven't had any issues with this toy, it just hangs onto the wall of a cage and you can fill it up either through these little back holes there, or you can just pull open the drawer and fill it, and my birds go nuts for it. Mia learned how to use this thing in a couple seconds, and zebi has been too smart for this toy from the get-go, so this is something that I really, really recommend for anybody with smaller birds that's looking for foraging toys. But I'm not actually sure if they even sell this toy anymore. Because anytime I've tried looking it up online, it'll only give me Amazon links and it'll say that it's currently unavailable and it's been like that for about a year now. So it seems like they may have actually stopped making these, which I really hope they haven't because this is one of the best foraging toys for tiny birds that I've ever seen. So again, this is the KT Peek and Pull Forager. Zip, zip. Zip, zip. What are you doing on the floor? Zip, zip. Okay, so let's see if I can get a bird to demonstrate how this toy works for you. So I'm just gonna hold it. So all I've done is I've opened this drawer and <laughs> you can see Zeebee's already trying to get at it. I've just put a little piece of millet inside this drawer here. So all I'm gonna do is hold this toy and let Zeebee figure it out. And you can see just, <laughs> it's very easy for her to open and she fully understands this. Now obviously when you do give this to your bird for the first time, they're not gonna know to pull the drawer open right away. So what I did to teach my birds how to use this toy was I just left the drawers open to start so they could just eat out of it and over time I gradually closed the drawers until they were kind of having to grab at it and pull at it to be able to fully get it out. And that was basically all it took to teach them how to do it was just starting with the drawer open and very slowly closing it so that way they understood how to pull the drawer open to get to it. So a super simple toy, lots and lots of fun and again one of the very very few uh, appropriately sized foragers for small birds out there. So the next one I'm going to go over is not so much a toy itself as it is just a toy part and what I have here is a bale pod and it's just a little hard shell uh, out of a, a seed and these I will use again as a sort of foraging thing. So I've made all sorts of things that are really basic just to make really simple foraging toys and they're super super sturdy and my birds I don't think could break this no matter how hard they really tried but as you can see ZB kind of peering in there there's always food in these things and these are great because they're one of the few toys or pieces I guess I should say that I can use to hide things like Nutriberries because it's so so hard to find toys that you can actually fit Nutriberries into because those things are so big but birds go nuts for them so this it has been a really simple thing that you can use to make very basic toys very quickly that can provide a lot of enrichment. You can get super creative with what you're doing. <laughs> Zeebee's just playing down here <laughs> on this thing, pulling open the drawers. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a really simple, really cheap toy part that I buy from Feathered Addictions usually. They're really simple, really basic, really, really sturdy. I haven't had a bird break a single one of these. I've dropped them before and they haven't broken. So these are really sturdy pieces that have lasted a really long time that you can use yourself to make really basic toys really quickly and you can come up with all sorts of creative ideas for them. So these are really, really fun. They're probably one of my favorite toy parts to use and yeah, they're really sturdy and they never seem to really fail at doing their job. So a really great toy if you're trying to encourage foraging for small birds yet again. This would also be appropriate for a bird about the size of a conure and I wouldn't go much, much larger than that. Otherwise, if you're dealing with macaws and stuff, they would just, they'd probably chomp right through these. All right, so the next one I'm gonna cover Alright, so the next thing I'm going to cover is actually something I only recently discovered. I don't really go out to pet stores very often, so I didn't know this product existed and I'm really glad that I finally have it here because it is a super super cool thing. So what I have here are oat sprays, so kind of like a millet spray. This is how little oat groats uh, just naturally grow and they're still just attached to their branches. So if I pull one out here, so this is a very small version of 
what these things are. And basically in each one of these, there's a little oat seed. And this is a super awesome thing that I wish I had known about sooner because it's a really great natural foraging thing. You can see how ZB just really wants, <laughs> wants to get in on those things because it's a lot of delicious treats. Now this is not a nutritionally complete item, so obviously this is just gonna be a treat for your bird, but this is a super awesome way to get more of a natural foraging experience for your birds. And they took to it super fast to get ZB to understand that there was food in here. All I had to do was hold one of these little tiny little sheath bits there. All I had to do was hold that in front of her and let her munch at it until she figured out there was a seed in there. Then I can just start putting this anywhere and she would just fly for it because she loves these things so much. But this I just thought was really, really cool. So it's Buy All Living Things, which is a brand that I've purchased stuff from before and they tend to do some pretty good stuff, but these things were just really awesome because they're such a really cool natural way to encourage your bird's natural foraging behaviors. And as you can see here, ZB just absolutely loves these things and it's it's so much fun seeing such seeing them enjoy something so simple and this is another fun thing that you can incorporate into other foraging toys and make quite a bit more challenging but these I just love I thought that it was a really cool idea and I hadn't seen oat sprays before so this was a really cool really fun thing that is just really natural and easy for your birds to learn. So next up, I have a toy that I actually looked at several times when I was first kind of getting into bird ownership and I had ignored because it's super, super basic. And the thing I have is bird kebabs. And the reason why I was ignoring these right off the bat is because it's just a string of wood. And I thought, why would a bird be interested in something that's just a plain string of wood? But as you can kind of see by how chewed up this is, um, they love these things and they destroy them and I've gone through so many bird kebabs and my birds are tiny like look at her comparison <laughs> to the size of this toy and they just chew them up they destroy them and honestly I, I didn't think birds would like them that much just because they're not very interesting but I was very much wrong and I'm glad that I did eventually give them a try and so bird kebabs come in a whole ton of shapes this is the one that is obviously kind of like a swing but they do come in regular strings they come with smaller blocks of wood and they have ones that are almost like a whole chunk that just has some little holes drilled in it so there's a whole ton of varieties of these things and it's made of a super super soft wood if I can get ZB off of here I can kind of grab a piece here and show you that I can just rip this off with my thumbnail there so that just kind of shows you that this is a really soft wood that's really easy for these tiny little beaks to be able to chew at. <laughs> CB certainly does love chewing them. So yeah, this is just something I had previously overlooked because it seemed like a really boring basic toy. It was, you know, why would I spend my money on this? But as you can kind of see here, <laughs> they do quite enjoy these things. I do have a lot of fun with them. They make a heck of a mess, which is the one downside to them but it is something that is really easy for birds to keep their beaks down. And what I've started doing with these is, as with most things I tend to do, is I turned it into a foraging toy. And because it is so soft, if you can get hard-shelled seeds, like sunflower seeds or safflower seeds, you can actually just stick the seeds right into these blocks of wood. And the seeds will just sit in there and the birds can rip through the wood trying to get to the sunflower seed that I've jammed inside there. So it's, again, a really easy way to help motivate them to keep their beaks trimmed. and just a really basic simple thing that these birds really really enjoy and I'm very disappointed in myself that I hadn't tried it sooner but ever since I started buying them these birds have been going nuts so bird kebabs again something I absolutely enjoy and would definitely keep buying all right so the last thing I have here is not so much a toy as it is a perch a great big mess of a perch here and <laughs> it's gonna scare ZB so she might leave me here but this is a natural branch that's been debarked and is manzanita wood it's I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not the best with plant names, but it is just a natural branch perch that hangs onto the side of a cage there. And I have one of these in both of my guys' cages. And the reason why I love these so much is because look at how varied this is. And it's one perch and it has so many different thicknesses. If you're sitting it down on the wall of cage, it's got so many different angles. It's got super thin portions. It's got all these different textures all over it. And it's chewable. They can destroy it if they want to. It is one thing that provides so much health for their feet because that's the number one thing that tends to be an issue with birds is them not having enough varied surfaces. And just in this one branch, we can see just how it goes from being such a super thick surface to something super thin and skinny and scrawny and 
is seemingly flimsy, but this perch has held up. I've had it for one or two years now, and there's been no damage done to it, no matter how much they chew it and kind of play with it. I'm sure if I had a bigger bird like a conure, they would probably break this apart. But even then, that's just another layer of enrichment there. So this was a really fun, really easy perch that I got from the West Coast Tropical Bird Studio. But I do have quite a few different manzanita perches. I have ones that are also not debarked, so they're kind of reddish and a bit more smooth. But this has got to be one of my favorite perches that I've ever bought, just because it is so varied, it's so crazy, and you can hang it from the roof of a cage and it's still functional. So the number of ways you can use, utilize this thing and have it either it's on the inside of the cage or the outside, and it's going to provide so much variety and health for their feet there, is really incredible. So this is probably the best perch <laughs> I've ever bought. And it's, again, it's something super simple, and I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably turn that into a little a little uh, play stand there for the birds out anywhere. So it wasn't that expensive, it was a pretty cheap perch, and yeah, it just, it, in comparison to a dowel perch, this is absolutely phenomenal, and I love these things, and I will fill the room with these things if I can. I'll have them sticking out of the walls, because I love them so much. But yeah, and it's it's a super great perch, and it's not a super slick surface because this has had the bark removed. It's got some texture to it, which makes gripping a little bit easier for them, and it'll also prevent those things like bumblefoot from occurring because it's not a super smooth, slippery surface that's likely to start to cause uh, all those sores and stuff. So yeah, really simple perch that I, I love. I love this perch. It's my favorite perch. So that about does it for my... how many things did I do here? One, two, I think I did five. So that is five things that I would really recommend looking into if you're trying to find things to get for your birds. They're some of my favorite things, things that my birds most enjoy or that I just absolutely love using for all the enrichment they can provide there. I am not sponsored by any of these guys by any means whatsoever. I just happen to really love these products. So that's gonna about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if there's more videos or ideas you have for me in the future feel free to let me do let me know and leave a comment down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Oh okay oh we're throwing it on the floor. Oh we're making a mess. Oh okay well there's nothing left there, sweetie. You ate it all. That's a stick. Yeah, it's all gone. It's all gone.